Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Angora Soaps. Uh, unfortunately, no longer around. This is Midnight Lavender. Uh, we're also going to use <clears throat> our Murka Razor. Uh, second use, third use, Boss Scott in here. As you can see, we're uh, trying to grow out a goatee. Um, past, I think the past like four years, I, um, I've grown out a goatee at different periods. I think one year it was only like a month, and then I was like, ah, screw this. Shaved it off. But, uh, Continuing on, I'm going to wring out the brush. It's been soaking. It's the Maggard 28mm Super High Density Badger Knot. And I believe this handle is the um, the Midnight midnight Blue or something like that. But uh, yeah, the, the, <clears throat> the knot's massive. Uh, let's go ahead and dip the tips back in the water. And we'll begin lathering. That's the pour there. Uh, I've used this soap, I would, I would say comfortably six, seven times possible a few other times it's a um, it's not a crope it's more of a harder soap uh, firm uh, kind of like our base not where soap company's base although there will be a surprise with the tallow base it will not be firm as firm but uh, yeah hope everyone's been doing well uh, I've cut this in I think about two weeks now I cut it in and uh, just been letting it grow. It's it's like it's to that itchy stage. Um, gonna rinse off my hands here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm at that itchy stage and just not enjoying it. <sighs> I know uh, back in 2019 when I grew it out, I had a lot of guys say, you know, um, try this oil or try this uh, beard balm or like I think there was um some uh, uh like amish beard butter or something like that i bought that off of amazon and i used that and it had a pleasant scent uh, everything that i bought when i was trying this had a pleasant scent but uh nothing really worked like everything was it was still super itchy so i'm just trying to get through it i know it lasts about two to three weeks and then it should be okay so yeah but i hope everyone's been doing well this knot is pretty large and I'm using less surface area since I'm not trying to lather up the, the goat. Oh man. I, uh, well, I thought I recorded a video uh, last week and uh, I went, brought the phone back to the computer room and um, plugged in. <laughs> And I was like, wait, I just recorded a shave. Where's the shave? And I just couldn't find it. It wasn't actually recorded, apparently. So I tried, but uh, you know, technology too difficult for me. I'm, I probably just didn't hit record, I suppose, but I sat here talking to myself. I actually using Angora soaps, and I actually talked a little bit about Angora soaps and Linda and um, when I first purchased this, and I can kind of re, you know, restate things here in this video I guess but um uh, I don't remember exactly when I bought this soap this is the only Angora uh, soaps midnight lavender this is the only scent that I have from them and I know that when I purchased it I believe I believe it was Miss Linda she uh reached out and was like because the base I have no complaints of the base whatsoever it's perfectly fine like you know it's it, it's gonna work just like anything else works, so I have no issue with the base. Uh, the scent though was a little lacking, and I'm like, you know, I reached out, <clears throat> or I made the video and, and post uh, posted it, and then um, tagged Angora and and uh, Miss Linda reached out and was like, hey, if you want something stronger, I would try. Was it Smokeberry or something like that? I don't remember, but um, I was like, okay, yeah, I need to do that, and uh, just you know, life happens, and I completely forgot about it. And, Yada yada yada, but anyway. All right. So yeah, we've been super busy. Um, you know the company, but uh, mainly in life. In all honesty, you know we have a lot of. I mean, it's summertime. Kids in soccer. Doing a lot of stuff. Um, so trying to just keep up with life. 
yard work around this point, uh, this time, you know, summer. About mid spring through about early fall, we have mid early mid fall. We have a lot of a lot of grass cutting and whatnot. So kind of busy. Unfortunately, here you've got to cut every. To keep up with it, you've got to cut at least once a week, you know, if you want to be super anal about it and like not let your grass grow more than a couple inches, um, you've got to cut twice a week. And I'm not at that point yet, like where I'm so anal about my grass that I've, like, I've got to like cut it twice a week. That would just ruin every one of my hobbies that I do aside from wet shaving and uh, so <laughs> yeah so grass cutting is a huge part of summertime here not really a fun part but a, ne uh, a necessity you know you don't want to be that one neighbor that has the grass grown up <clears throat> past <laughs> past everybody else's grass and you know it looking terrible um you know but the neighbors around here are pretty good about you know if you don't cut it for a week or two like um i had back problems i want to say back in 2020 or 2021 uh, i don't really remember the exact but I had back problems and uh, I couldn't mow my lawn that summer. Well, not the whole summer. It was like three weeks. And so one week went by. Um, and uh, anyway, I had two neighbors reach out. I'm like, hey, something going on? Your mower broke or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, no, I just, just my back's messed up. I can't really cut right now, but I'll get on it as soon as I can. And one offered to, they both offered to do it. One ended up weeding and one mowed the lawn um so you know very very good neighbors but uh so it wasn't so overgrown when i got out there and cut it a couple weeks after that or a week after that whatever it was let's go ahead and rinse the sink out here let's do our last pass my wife absolutely hates the goatee you know just I feel like that's why she was super gung-ho about when I first started wet shaving. And I've spoke about this before on an older video, I think. Um, and I was like, you know, my wife really didn't mind me buying shaving products and, you know, this, that, or the other. You know, I got to thinking about it and uh, I was like, yeah, she really doesn't like facial hair. So that's probably why, you know. Yeah, hope everyone's been doing very well. Like I said, I've just been super busy. Haven't been, obviously haven't been uploading too much. But um, it'll change eventually and I'll get back into it. So, let me do a rinse real quick. Bear back. All right, so just to recap, <laughs> we've got soap splashed everywhere, but Angora soaps, this is Midnight Lavender. Unfortunately, I mean, you may be able to find a couple, I, I didn't check, but maybe a couple of vendors still have a couple of their soaps. I really don't know. Um, but I know that their website, uh, angorasoaps.com, right? Yeah, I think it was angorasoaps.com. Uh, that is completely shut down. Um, so Angora Soaps with the soap, we use the Magger 28 millimeter super high density badger knot. And we use the Murica razor, a second or third use Voscot. I don't remember. But other than that, I'm 
But other than that, hope everybody has a great week. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.